All right. Now that my break is done, it's time to resume to where I left off. I also heard General Guy and Jake also went back getting jobs also. Well, I hope their second battle improves well. And if General Guy plans another battle, I hope this time, we win. I want to seriously get back my imposter, for assuming he's real, which isn't, the truth. You know, ever since Teela quit the community, and the creator of the real Devious Diesel for Hire was on to other things, I probably think the episode 77, which is finished, hopefully by near the end of 2022, he'll finally release a date to when it premieres. Honestly, do we even care what the real Gerald, Levi, and the real me is up to? No we do not. We want to care about our own lives. I have no idea what they are doing now, and I do not care. The real Gerald isn't even getting jobs anymore, so who knows what business he's gone up to. I'm not sure if Brian, Red Crops' version, is working still also. Listen, I don't want to explain more details about our real clones, knowing that we found it out Jamie cloned all these troublemakers, trying to make it look like they do crazy shit like this. Well, it's time to go to my next job. Not going to tell the viewers this. It's been a bit since I worked at a Fiori chess store. The last time it was at Ikea. And to say, I decided to work here, because beds are my thing when I fall asleep. My real self worked there last year, I remember. Then he got the in and out burger job, then out back steakhouse, now, 76 times, I've been counting. And by the way, to the viewers, all my gang members are watching me. Except for two. Orange Blaster is sick, so he had to stay back at the Space Hotel. And Gerald is out with some friends. So those two will not be watching me in this episode. But the rest are. Anyways, time to get started. Welcome. Oh my god. God is here. Oh crap. Ugh, here we go with this crap again. Um, what the hell are you doing here? By the way, so sorry about your loss in that battle. It sucks that you failed to make the world so terrible, you tried building up elsewhere no innocent people are allowed. Can you not, and I mean not, bring up the battle days? Because it fucking triggered us because we wanted to be free and not end up in so damn stupid jailed place. Yeah, I know, so sorry that you deserve you nearly got yourselves put in prison, and I know how super bad it felt. You're just saying that asshole. You have no idea what jail was like. Kelmates beating the shit out of us like with their toys, it's no wonder there's people more worse than us. Then consider yourself lucky you got the time to be out of jail now, because sometime sooner, they're gonna find you. I've just had it with the battle business. I hope Brandon, Goku Black and Zamasu, and Skipip hopefully are trained well for their battles coming up. Oh I really do hope so, that's a really long way from now. Hello guys and welcome to bed and mattress sleepy storage. So how can I? Um, what's going on? You feel alright? What are you scared about? What, sir? Hey, is he okay? I think it's the way red guy. Well, he tends to show off where we go out in town. Why do you must explain this all the time? We're out somewhere and people got shocked because of em appearance. This all the time. How many fucking times am I going to see customers that are either weird looking, don't even have a mouth, no body parts, like come on. You fucking serious right now? Wait wait whoa whoa. We don't need to get extremely angry or some sort. I ain't a monster. I shall not give you any harm. No, don't give me your shit. You're just a big hairy creature, that probably I don't know where you were born from, but they certainly didn't take care of that hair of yours. What? I don't even. Fuck no. That's hair bud. I know that is. Guys, where the hell did you find him and how come he has all that hair on him? Well sir, you see, he was once in the wild. Duh, nan no no no. I mean he has, obesion with cotton candy. Cotton candy is not red. There's no such thing. What flavor is it fruit punch flavor or what? Oh just been his ways, he always wants to make excuses when I just look like a harrisome looking guy. That's just him. People do attend to get scared at him when he's around town. Nothing that new for us. Listen, 
do whatever, shop around here, just don't go near my gang members, they'll be scared of that red hairy dude. Just saying. What the wacky was all that about there? Yeah, not my first time I was ever nice to customers. I'm nice. Not all the time. I needed to get that hairy red person out of my sight. Welcome to bed and mattress sleep storage. How may I help you today? Oh, I was wondering where I would go to get a flatable sofa. Really? You would want some flatable looking sofa? I don't even know what you're crazy about and what do they do? They also seem very hard to set up. Quite ain't a super fan. But it's something I just want. I have no crazy moment of a flatable sofa. I just want to buy it. No, that's stupid, to not be crazy over flatable sofas. People would want to go crazy over something that is possibly bouncy, even if it takes a week to put air on. What? Alright you sir, don't make sense. Why are you getting a little paranoid over my opinion? I'm not crazy about flatable stuff. Just buying stuff to enjoy being at home. You don't give a shit about flatable objects, why buy them? You're just gonna get bored. And what if I do? You don't even get involved in my life, so you should stop asking these questions. What are you? Some man who I never met and wants to question my life. Feel free to buy other stuff here sir, we got beds and kitchens. if you are not interested in a flatable sofa. Listen. Stop it now. You're portraying me by asking personal questions to a man you've never met. I can't let you just go with me about me if that's what you want. Actually, you can fuck off. Excuse me? Yeah, go fuck yourself, the bitch that doesn't care about flatable sofas, and won't explain why. So, you can, screw, the fuck, off. I cannot believe you are now being rude. Fine. I don't want to buy anything here, not with your rudeness. I wish you'd get fired. Guess what? You're banned forever for wishing our friend Devious Diesel got fired. Yeah, how about you continue walking and leave our friend alone, bitch? Agreed. Well. Get the fuck out of here, now. I'm not fucking kidding, you need to leave. And if you don't, I'll have you murdered into shreds. What the hell was that sonic looking thing? It gave me the creeps and chills as long as this will get into me. He is much scarier than the devil bunny and the shark puppet. I totally agree. That gave me chills. I hope he doesn't come back again. Welcome to bed and mattress sleep storage. How may I help you? Can I please get that bed right on next to the Croxby Finth? It's that one over there. Okay, that cost will be $45,000. Are you joking what? What do you think? I, I don't have it. It doesn't even say that. Are you joking or what? I don't have any time. Alright. Don't have enough, no item. Either come back when you have the money or just don't. Welcome to... Whoa. Whoa. Oh wait wait hang on there. You gotta leave. Why? You have fucking red spots on you that's a sign of chicken pox. You'll give it to someone else. I don't have chicken pox. This is just makeover. You have 8 seconds to get your fucking ass out of here before I grab you, or have one of my security guards escort you out. I'm um, is everything going okay? Miss, you may want to watch this. It's about your new employee. He's um, well, I hate to say he did a terrible job with a lot of the customers. I'm afraid, he has to go. I'll admit he did help out three, the rest, ooh, not pretty. Damn it, I can't believe this. Alright, we're going. We're going back to the space hotel, guys.